Hey you, have you just started out filming videos and you want to know all about audio? Probably not, but we're going to do a video on how to get some great audio for your videos right now. We're recording on a lab mic, but let's start off right at the bottom. Not, not, not literally, I mean, low, low down. Let's go. This is, this is um, Tim's back, by the way. Tim Pan, the gadget man, is back with his boosted board. Yeah. It's his dolly. You should name your boosted board dolly. This is like favorite vlogging setup for loads of people. Great sound from Rode. And it's pretty simple. You've got a switch here, on, off, and to stop all the humming. The plus 20 is great if the in-camera amplifier is not very good. Put up to plus 20 so you don't have to push up the gain in the camera for top quality sound. So yes, this is top quality sound. Not the best quality sound you can get, but there is a new Rode mic, which is even better than this. It's this one, isn't it? What's inside? Look at that. It's huge. It's like a, it's like a turnip. It's like a radish or something. Basically, it's the grown-up version of the. They've pimped up, pimped it up, haven't they? Yeah. Look at the girth on that. First thing you'll notice is that the VMP Plus is gigantic, even larger than the actual camera. But Rode is doing this to prevent wind noise, apparently. But not only that. I always forget to turn these off. Wasted a battery by using it on nothing. I've just essentially killed more polar bears just by leaving this on. They get, they're swallowing a nine volt battery because of me. But with this new one, they can swallow a rechargeable one because this has a rechargeable one. Look at that. Finally, we have a rechargeable battery for the video micro. Now you can charge the mic from USB and each charge lasts around 100 hours. And the great thing is when you switch the camera off, this switches off as well. So for vloggers, video mic pro, bye bye. Actually, that's mine. So let's, let's not throw that. See, I don't, I don't know if you can see it. It switches on by itself. Unplug it. Unplug it. It's still on. Oh, it's off. There you go. My God, technology. Apart from normal gain control and high pass filters, you can use new gestures to activate safety track that has 10 dB lower volume on the left channel to prevent clipping as well as high frequency boost when you're using windshield. Hello, hello. So this is the Video Mic Pro Plus, which I like. I mean, when we look at it, it does look a bit unwieldy. It looks like a blimp on top of my camera. It's, it's a big boy, this one. It's gone bigger, the wire's gone longer. It's the schlong of on-camera mics. And this is the sound quality. But if you're gonna be shooting other people and they're gonna be further away from the camera than this, then you might want to look at something like this. Lav mics, the one we always use for our videos. Maybe it doesn't sound the best, but it makes sure you pick up the consistent sound from your talent. So as I was saying, you might not want this. I mean, if you're not vlogging, if you're shooting people from a distance, it's not gonna be good because ideally you want to be close to the talent with this. Always you have to bump up the gain and post and it will sound crap, basically. Look, I mean, this is what it will sound like. Hello, Tim. Yeah, hi. Can you hear me? Where are you? I'm um, in Canterbury. So that's where this comes into play. Lavalier mic, oh, not just a lavalier mic, it's a wireless lavalier mic. This goes on your camera, plugs in 3.5 millimeter jack or XLR with this Sennheiser AVX. Very nice product. Okay, so now we're gonna test out the audio. I mean, a while, something like this is great in a noisy environment. You can actually properly hear your talent then because this only just picks up sound around here mainly it's kind of noisy here yeah. i mean standing next to this big natural pissing river thing whatever you call it you can pick up the sound better with this 
compared to something like this. This is a shotgun style mic. So anything from this line of sight, it's not sight, it doesn't have eyes, but from this point, if you imagine a straight line, it picks up all the sound from there onwards. This will just be a video that makes you want to go to the toilet. So yes, for shotgun mics, you have to point to your subject to get great sound, but it also picks up unwanted sound behind the subject. With lav mics, the background noise will be much more consistent and less of a problem. So, I mean, you can compare the sound of lav mic versus the on-camera shotgun mic. Shotgun mic, lav mic. Boom, car's coming, it's gonna kill Tim. In fact, sometimes I find that the shotgun mic will probably sound a bit richer than the lav mic. If you've got the right environment and you're close enough. One thing to remember is that lav mics are really sensitive to wind, so you better get some chest hair for your mic. I mean, not that actual hair from your chest, which is just as well because I don't have any. Asian. So, show the extra weapons we got in the back. Yes, let's whip it out, Tim. Yeah, two good ones. This is Tim's magic bag, full of tricks. We have got a hamster. <laughs> Hedgehog. <laughs> and a cucumber. And a, f a furry cucumber. A f <laughs> it looks like a furry bottom. Very bum cheeks, but these are stereo mics. These are the two nicest, slickest stereo mics we got. The Rode VideoMic Stereo X and Sennheiser MKE440. This is a, this feels completely different to something like that. This is, this is all metal here. That's proper solid stuff. So there we are. You can see it's a stereo mic. This unfortunately uses the nine volt battery. So you've got the 3.5mm jack here. Mini XLRs. Mini. It's so mini-fried. Rode has prepared everything for you. Blimp, dead cat. You can shoot in almost any conditions to get amazing ambient sound. The MKE 440 doesn't come with a windshield. You need to pay 80 big ones to get one. It's pretty it's pretty simple. It's it's very minimalist there. Just symbols. Very nice switches, yeah. It's G German quality switches. Well, let's see which one sounds better. Which one do you think sounds better, Tim? Uh, I haven't tried out the road yet. This one sounds really good, but I guess this one will sound a little better. That's just my guess. Sea cucumber. <laughs> All right, okay, onto the boat. We were expecting a smooth ride through Canterbury and record some trickling water sounds, but as it turned out... So, yeah, this is... So yes, we managed to record some amazing baby crying sounds. The actual test was to see if our eardrums could survive all that high frequency wailing. But luckily, Tim Pan, the man, has recorded with these two mics in other conditions. Please enjoy. Don't forget to wear headphones. So that's just some of the mics that you can buy for your camera. Your first mic, perhaps. What would you go for, Tim, if, if you were to advise on getting just one as a first mic? I would suggest to go with the Rode or any like shotgun like uh, camera mountable mics. Yeah. Depends what you want to go for. It depends what kind of stuff you want to film. If, when, if you want to film your own face, 
Then as Tim says, Video Mic Pro Plus. Lavalier great for if you're filming talents. And of course, with the super fancy stereo mics, you can get some insane ambient sound from it. Different mics give you completely different results. Choose the right one for your project and give a nice boost to your production quality. Thanks for watching. So yeah. Oh, oh, that's what the vloggers do, isn't it? So, whoosh, whoosh. That's how I end the video, whoosh. <laughs>